Hello, friends. James Stevenson back with uh, the first edition in about four years, if you can believe it, of Who's Hating Hard on Tesla Today. Originally, my YouTube channel started out as me making uh, short videos about the Tesla haters saying dumb stuff on Twitter or Seeking Alpha and uh, me taking apart what they got wrong. And then uh, it just took forever to make those videos. Like I would spend 10 or 12 hours to make a 10 or 12 minute video because I'm terrible at editing together video and writing scripts and stuff. But I think at this point I have uh, um, gotten enough practice with not scripting my videos that I can do okay at that part. And I record these videos like a live stream, so you're stuck with whatever I screw up. It doesn't get edited out. I just leave it in. So each uh, video from me these days is a one-take masterpiece in the making. So uh, what I want to do now is share my screen with you and bring up Twitter to show you who was hating hard on Tesla this week, and it was Rick Baumstein. Rick Baumstein. So... This is not a real person, uh, if you follow this account through. Uh, it says right there, Rick Bonstein does not exist. So what does that mean? Uh, some of the Tesla Q generalissimos, by which I mean the people leading the community of Tesla haters and short sellers, choose obviously anonymous cartoon profiles or wacky names or something where you know for sure that's not them and others like this account pick a photograph of a person and a first and a last name that seem reasonable another one that does this is luis carruthers uh that's a character taken from like a, a really minor character from the movie american psycho so that's also not a real person uh, who tweeted, hey, remember when Elon Musk jammed Tesla by like 50% last fall before he dumped shares? I bring this up for no particular reason. So this was a delightful tweet from a Tesla hater that uh, I felt like I should comment on. Well, yeah, I mean, every stock in the whole market is down since the bear market began in January. And before that, Elon Musk sold some shares at about $1,000, and yeah, Tesla stock is below that, but he could have picked any other executive who sold any shares toward the end of last year, and it would have been just as accurate, right? So this is cherry picking of the highest order. And I replied with, hey, remember the 15 times Rick Bonstein called the market top in 2019? I'll make this bigger so you can see all the things Rick Bonstein said in 2019 about how the market was topping out. So he he's a, he's a perma bear. Rick always believes that the stock prices are heading lower. And that's a, a low percentage bet to make, friends. Uh, the stock market, if you look at a very long timeline, has this uncanny uh, uh, ability to continue rising over time. Why on earth would that be? Shouldn't it be equally up and down over time? Well, no, there's an unfair advantage, and I'll spell it out for you as simply as I can. Most companies make money. That's it. That's it. Most companies make money. So when you look at most of the stocks, they're mostly going up because most companies are profitable, and most companies are increasing their profit uh, as time goes on, and that, that increase in earnings results in an increase in share price. So the stock market goes up over long periods of time. And if you're trying to make a lot of money betting against companies, go, uh, stocks going up all the time, that's a low, that's a low probability bet. So uh, yeah, look at all this stuff Rick said back in 2019 about the top, uh, mostly for Tesla, but for other companies too, you'll find in here a lot of humorous stuff he said. So I thought I would remind Rick of what he had said back then. And uh, got a lot of nice uh, comments on the replies here. Uh... <laughs> yeah. Oh, a lot of good stuff here. So 
This is a fun gift to see all the time. And um, what else do we have here? <laughs> I, got, I got a couple of those in here. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. So uh, here's another hater. Uh, somebody else who was hating hard on Tesla today is E-R-I-Z 35. I don't know what the E-R-I-Z is. I don't know what the 35 is. But uh, this is somebody who's been hating on Tesla for a long time. This person actually deleted over four years of continuous tweets that they uh, sent out. So from about 2017 to about 2021, they wiped out all of the tweets they sent during that time period. But they were hating on Tesla during that time period. Uh, and some of the screenshots still exist because people like Tesla Historian uh, preserved them. So here's one where uh, this account believed GM could kill Tesla in one swoop uh, by lowering the price of the Bolt by $3,000. The price of the Bolt has been lowered by way more than $3,000 since 2016, by the way. And Tesla has not been killed. Uh, let's see what else we got in here. I know this conversation kept going after that. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, there we are. Uh, stay on topic here, Jim. I thought the topic was remembering times people said things. So here's a time that, uh, the same account said the odds Tesla will be bankrupt within five years is approaching a hundred percent. So that was in January of 2017. And, uh, Nothing nothing happened since then. Tesla didn't go bankrupt after that. All right, so uh, I'm going to keep these episodes short. If you have liked today's episode of Who's Hating Hard on Tesla Today, give me a like uh, if you want to, or if not, you know, it's your, it's your life. Do what you want. And I will see you in the next one.